my spirit hers. I had a conversation with me the other day. I said, I could write a storm and tell the people folk tales of old myths they call fibs, but what's real ain't. So we heard lies. We will rise within the stone tomb. Body crafted to fit, I lay. Until opening my eye and the water came, the water said, I seen you the other day, setting fires to the gardens, you fire starter. I looked at her and said, What's a garden of fake roses bloomed in a garden of real petals and beds which used to be flowers? I lie to protect you. The very tomb of a woman's womb. Us as men, we need you. The water cried. It started raining. She hugged me, saying, I love you. So I felt her emotion with no expression hers. Waters moved at her exit. I looked to the sun's crest, peeking over the water. I watched the wedding. I would never see her again. Speaking deeply in imaginative thought, I'm thinking, would I ever so walk alone, playing with fire? You burn unmeaningful without fault. I wanted to jump into the drought. From this painful salt, thoughts not suicide, I ran. The sand of her beaches, then the sun's spirit came, her rays calmed. O oh, Pharaoh, she proclaimed seductively, why do you ever so dine alone? Craft as day passed, she laughed, you're troubled, her flames flickered and cracked as the air blew calm. I asked, why do you ray down from the skies, melting the ground as if the ground could stand your feet? The light you bring to me is beautiful, she said. Would you ever so hold my endless flame so carefully? She gazed into my soul, diving into my spirit, bonding with my being, become one with me. She said, don't ever let go of this endless thing. I looked at the flowers, they cried. They witnessed the bond past, the materialistic. She was relentless, she shined bright. I couldn't deny, looking into her eyes, I looked to the sky. Forced to be alone, to truly in love. I am because that love I don't see in you. Justice is not taking advantage of you. I looked at her. It should satisfy you that I respect you. She looked up. The lava formed at the tip of her eye, running to her last. Remembering our past encounter, she kissed me and whispered away. I cried some other day. She left her flame, the flame that burned so effortlessly. Cracking against the wind, dancing with fire, water running, a sound formed. I watched the flame flicker day by day. I felt their pain. I took deep breaths, feeling my lungs expand. The winds came. Are you here to persuade? I cannot do this anymore. I looked at her, knowing I could not escape the sun nor the rain. When the wind came, she said, you're in pain. Why do you walk this plane in burden? I said, because the burden reminds me of who I am. She said, why do you hold their spirit so close when you can have anything? I looked at her and said, anything is nothing to me. It's not the things she does or the things I've seen within this love thing. You are all over me. I fall as if my heart has been ripped from my chest. When you are the air us men need for nourishment of the lungs we need to breathe, remembering the water's tears, the sunshine's lava, she came to me. She rose me up, staring deeply. She whispered, I want you like I want marriage. I want you like I desire happiness. I want you like I'm committed to you craving, you fiending. I looked in space, seeing visions of our happiness. Swift she is. I said, I lie, I lie. I cannot share these feelings. She left. That's the last of her spirit I saw again. I returned to my tomb and retain my regret. I lie, I lie, my spirit hers.